The forced expiration technique, or FET, is arguably one of the most effective airway clearance techniques. It can be used alone, but should always be included in any airway clearance routine. FET is a combination of breathing control and a huff manoeuvre. When taught by a physiotherapist trained in this technique, the equal pressure point theory is used to assist with the movement of sputum from the peripheral airways towards the mouth. Before commencing, it is beneficial to explain the physiology to the patient in simple terms with diagrams. This helps them to understand the need for monitoring the length of the breath out and the expiratory force. The technique is generally taught in sitting. If bronchodilators have been prescribed, administer them before commencing treatment with this technique. When initially taught, the patient is instructed to take a medium breath in. The breath out is then performed with mild to moderate force in a similar way to fogging up a mirror and is done with an open glottis. A common fault with this technique is closing the glottis during expiration. This is the sound of a huff with a closed glottis. To facilitate the opening of the glottis, the patient can be taught to perform a huff with a piece of tubing placed at least three centimetres inside their open mouth or with a tissue held near the open mouth. Note that with an open glottis and good expiratory flow, the tissue floats forwards. For patients with chronic sputum retention, three levels of huffing can be taught, taking first small, then medium, and finally large volume inspiratory breaths to assist in moving secretions from the peripheral airways towards the mouth. The length of the huff and force of expiration are altered to accommodate for the clinical symptoms. Crackling of sputum during expiration should be sustained for as long as is comfortable. The force of expiration and length of expiration is dependent on the dynamics of the airways. A common fault with this technique is breathing out with too much force, which will collapse peripheral airways and inhibit airflow as demonstrated by this wheezing sound. With more advanced disease and unstable airways, expiratory force may need to be very gentle. When huffing is used with positive expiratory pressure devices, it may be beneficial to huff through the device, particularly when the airways are unstable, as this will splint the airways and enable more expiratory force, airflow and movement of sputum. Huffing is followed by a period of breathing control. The patient should be given written instructions, including the technique, the prescription and the cleaning of the half-teaching tool.